I've heard about the art all night for like the last couple years, but somehow never made it. And so when I it came around again, I was like, this time I have to go. Pretty much the same thing for me. I've also never been able to come, but I'm from DC and I love that we're celebrating the diverse neighborhoods. And I live in Tenley Town, but I won't be attending the Tenley Town one. I'm gonna go farther afield. Yeah. I was at the National Cannabis Festival this year as a vendor, and we had a great time. We puffed and we painted outside on RFK Stadium. This event, I got introduced to it maybe a week and a half ago, and I just decided to come out here and give it a try. It's free for the vendors, so it's 100% profit, and again, it's meeting new people and generating more business. We host an art class where people come out for two hours, and they're able to smoke marijuana and paint, and I sell an art class. I don't sell marijuana, so just know that, but you are able to smoke in a safe place and create masterpieces. I'm a DC-based artist at 52 O Street Studios, and I am an abstract painter. I also do urban drawings of agricultural buildings abutting each other. And here I brought my wearable art accessories. Each one is a one-of-a-kind created by me incorporating an original painting. I think it's important that Washington support the creative community. What I started doing a couple of years ago, uh, when I was first learning how to paint, I realized that I could put these ceiling tiles in my classroom. Once I started doing it, I realized that as soon as I like replaced one, I had another one to paint. And so that started what became about now a five year long project of painting these ceiling tiles and I've done hundreds of them in my school. It's a project that I really like doing because it allows me to paint large scale very cheaply because all of my canvas is free. They have cool old footages that's artsy like high class art but also cultural and modern and hip so I, I like the aesthetic of it. And Some like vinyl records that they've been showing. Yeah, yeah. Vinyl records and like old album covers so I really I'm very fascinated by it and I think it's very captivating. Oh. There's a gentleman behind us that's been actually painting the whole time that we've been here. That's pretty cool. It's neat. I feel like we're just sort of in an immersive experience.